What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your very first time joining me. My name is Jessica and Mothers was a makeup lover, of course. For today's video, I'm actually just going to be focusing on my eyes today. I just did something super colorful. I'm actually very, very pleased with the outcome, like the whole blend. But I'll be sure to leave all my face products down below if you guys are curious about what I use on my face. Um, but yeah. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video because I enjoyed doing this video. Um, don't forget to stay tuned until the very end of the video where I always do an up close of my makeup for you guys. That way you can see the true beauty of the blend. And if you're curious about the products that I use to achieve this makeup, you're definitely going to want to keep on watching. So I'm going to be using the Be Perfect Carnival Interstellar palette. My shirt almost stopped me from lifting that and then I'm also gonna be taking the blend bunny sickly sweet palette I feel like you guys are gonna see me using this a lot more as a companion palette because there is you know it has all the pastels in it there is like the darker shades which I'll be using a couple today but I'm really definitely gonna be picking this up as like a companion palette for other palettes so I haven't used the carnival interstellar in a little while so yeah, I'm just going to be kind of dipping back and forth in between both of the palettes. So I'll try my best to let you guys know which colors I'm using. But obviously, green, blue, purple, pink. So those are the vibes. <laughs> um, I'm actually going to be taking a bunch of really small detail brushes. Because I wanted to make sure that I had a really nice blend and that I had space for everything. And so, small brushes. <laughs> so I'm actually going to start with... Um, this is the Blend Bunny B2 brush, and I'm going to start with shade, so I'll give you guys all three of the shades I'm going to lay down first, the darkest shade, so I'm going to take shade Cry If I Want To, which is the blue, and then out of the Interstellar palette, I'm going to take shade Alien, which is the green, and then I'm going to take the purple, the dark purple, Spacewalk, yeah babe. So I'm going to lay those three shades down first, starting with the blue. So I'm laying the blue down right in the middle, so I kind of know how far in to take the green and how far out to take the purple. On that same brush, I'll take shade Alien out of the Carnival palette. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down on the inner quarter. I wanna make sure that everything is nice and connected and super seamless. I'm gonna take a Blend Bunny B3 brush with shade Spacewalk which is the purple. So this is like, just like the next size up for the Blend Bunny brushes. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a little tail with this purple here. I am gonna be going in with some black, but I just wanna have a really nice deep base with all of my colors. So literally super simple. Now I'm going to be going in with this little doe color brush to blend out all of my green shades. So as I'm getting lighter, I'll just dust it off, but I'm just going to take the one brush. So for the greens, I'm going to be taking shade so from the Be Perfect palette. I'm going to take shade Meteor and Celestial. And then for the pastel, which is the star of the show, let's be honest, um, I'm going to take shade fake it out of the Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet palette. Shade Meteor. I want to be mindful not to take any of these shades too far too quickly and I want to make sure that I'm keeping them in their designated like section so I have room for everything you know. Shade Celestial. And then lastly, shade Fake It. There was a cut. There's a couple of like more green and like minty pastel shades, but this one was one that I didn't use the first time that I used this eyeshadow palette. So that was kind of my decision making on that one. Once I'm happy with the green blend, we're moving on to blue. I'm gonna take this one brush for the blue, which I'm only using two blue shades to blend out. I'm going to take Believe from Carnival Interstellar and then I'm going to take shade I'm Fine from 
Blend Me Sickly Sweet. This whole look is just honestly a whole lot of blending and picking and choosing the colors and the tones that I wanted to go in with. Then shade I'm Fine. These pastels are just so impressive. They're just like so pigmented and like they don't blend away like they really show up. I'm gonna be blending this out with purple but then at the end I'll add some pink to it. So I'm actually gonna take shade Roswell out of the Be Perfect palette. And then for the purples and the pinks, I'm gonna be going in with the Blend Me Sickly Sweet. So for the purples, I'm gonna take shade Roswell from the Be Perfect palette. That was upside down, you guys did not see this one right here, Roswell. And then I'll take shade Frills and Thrills and Dopamine from the Blend Me palette. Can you see that? Frills and Thrills, Dopamine. I feel like it's bright, but then, I don't know. My kid's always messing with my camera. He's grounded for the rest of his life. So, shade Roswell. I'm not going to take this any further than what's already on the lid, the purple. Like, I'm, like usually, you know me when I usually do a cut crease, I'll blend it further out, but I want it to be pink on the end. Yeah, baby. Then I'll take shade Frills and Thrills. I'm pretty much just blending... So I'm actually just going to dust off that same brush that I used for the purples and I'm going to be taking from the Blend Buddy palette shade Rosy Cheeks and what's this one? Just Peachy. So Rosy Cheeks is a beautiful baby pink. I wanted to do baby pink blush that's why I was like let's throw in a baby pink in there. And I'm actually just going to start right where that purple left off and just blend this pink right into it. And then I'll take shade Just Peachy to just fade this end out. So now that everything is nice and blended out, I'm going to take a small brush with the shade Dark Side, which is the black. And I'm just going to use that to deepen the crease. I'm going to cut my crease with my P. Louise cut carver. I'm going to lay down the P. Louise rewipe because I really wanted those pastels to show up. Um, and then I'll come back. The whole interval for today's video was actually this Timmery pigment, the Disco Flake. Oh, that's a good name. This is Disco number six. It's literally like a rainbow explosion. This is beautiful. This is stunning. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to do all that and then I'll come back. I'm going to clearly do the same thing that I did on top, but reversed. So I'm still going to start with the blue. The biggest thing right here I'm gonna do a thick wing she's gonna be thick to really get the like point of this wing I'm gonna take the shade alien on this little doe color brush this little 13 brush the pencil brush so I could really get a sharp edge And then shade Spacewalk. So as you can see for the purple, I didn't take it all the way because I'm going to really pack that pink down in the front. So I'm actually going to start by blending from the pink down like this way. So taking shade Rosy Cheeks. So I'm pretty much going to pack this pink down, not all the way. I'm going to save a little bit of room to use that very, very light pastel to blend but just like this dust that brush off shade just peachy i'm gonna blend the edges bam now we're moving on to the purple then shade roswell i feel like you could tell by the names which palette i'm using shade frills and thrills And then shade dopamine. 
I'm trying to keep everything in their section. But I want the purple to kind of fade into that pink a little bit. So I'm going to work on that. Bam. Now moving on to the blue. Shade Believer. Shade I'm Fine. Now for the greens, I'm going to still use the same pencil brush to blend it out. So shade Meteor. Shade Celestial. I'll make it more pointy as well. I'm just kind of laying the shades. I'm laying the shades down first. And then shade Fake It. I'm going to take on the fluffy brush that I used on top. I'm going to take the black. And I'm going to do like, I'm going to smoke it out. So I'm basically just deepening, deepening the whole like wing portion of this. Originally I was thinking of putting like, um, what's it called? Like, like a, like a black shimmer. Like I was going to do the whole lid black. But when I got to this point, I was like, you know what? I want more colors. The texture of these pigments is they're like flakes. So... The best thing I could recommend, um, I'm going to take my dual lash glue and I'm going to lay this down right where I want the, that pigment to stick. And then again, this is the Timmery pigment in the shade Disco number no. 6. I'm going to take this little um, brush. Oh, there's hair in there. I'm going to wet it. Ugh, I put that hair in my mouth. No, this is going to be messy. That's what the lash glue is for. These flakes are low-key gonna get everywhere but after I'm done sticking these down I'll take a spoolie and anywhere where I don't want the flakes I'll just gently spoolie them away I'm just gonna keep tapping until the glue isn't sticky anymore and then as you can see I made a huge mess it's even in my hair that is okay it's A-OK. Okay. okay. Now for my lashes, I'm thinking I want to go big. I haven't used these ones in a while. These are the Beauty Creation She's a Tease. These are really pretty, but they're really big. But I think it's going to really go with the look today because we're kind of going all out. So, so I just went ahead and I did my base. Um, I'll be sure to leave all the products down below for you guys. And these lashes are freaking ginormous. Low-key love it though. Um, what my man? I'm gonna take the same colors that are on the lid, like I'm gonna match it, so I'm gonna do green, blue, purple, pink. Starting with shade Cry If I Want To. I'm gonna do the green right here to connect this wing. And then I'm gonna put some of the blue right in the center. I'm just gonna add some purple and then go in with shade rosy cheeks there's all the colors but it's not way down like I just kept it really tight I'm gonna take the blend bunny gel liner I'm gonna take this black and put it in my waterline so here is the completed look I'm very happy with my decision to do like something so colorful. It's um, It's been a minute, I think, since I've done like so many colors on my eyes. Um, the base makeup is so pretty. I'm, I'm very happy with, with the outcome of today's makeup look. Um, my kiddo super duper doesn't feel good, so I'm gonna um, wrap this up so I can give him some cuddles. Um, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you like me and if you like my content. Without further ado, we're gonna go right on ahead, roll the clip. <laughs> 